particularly when the law is going to be involved, when you're going to have, you know, cops and judges and tax dollars, whatever is going to be involved to make sure the law is enforced. <sighs> you know. We're probably going to work in the case of gay marriage. I don't suppose there's a whole lot of cops arresting people for getting gay married when they can't actually get gay married, but still, when the law, when the government is going to come in and say, you can't do X, we should have some sort of reason to believe that X is bad. I just haven't seen the evidence for it. And it's not exactly for lack of study, you know. Uh, it's not like is this this gay thing just, just popped up last year and we still don't know anything. Is it right? Is it wrong? We don't know. Like, people have been gay for several decades, you know. And, and like, statistically, they're, they're fine people. Nothing, there's nothing else that, that, that comes with the territory which is automatically wrong and must be stopped. Except for the fact that it screws with your notion of what should happen in traditional relationships and traditional marriage and traditional... I had to break it to you, man, but some of the coolest things in the world came about because someone broke tradition. I mean, granted. Just because you can break a tradition doesn't mean you should. But... The fact that there are BA people who want to get married, who are perfectly fine people and they just want to be part of society and, and love each other and so forth, that is a reason to break from tradition. That, that's already, you know, a good weight on one side of the scale here. you you got to show me something on this other side to, to, in, order to, in order to counteract that, in order to show me that it, it's overall wrong. What, what do we have here, guys? We can't redefine marriage? Yes, we can. We can redefine it all the live long day. You cannot just assume that any possible redefinition would automatically be a bad thing. Like, I could imagine doing it wrong and having some stupid definition of marriage, which ends up being bad for society somehow, but this, this one in particular? You got anything on that? Beside from the fact that you just would rather stick to tradition? Eh. It's harmful for the kids. Your argument? I haven't seen any of that. No, no. Plenty of people raised by gay kid, by gay couples or whatever, and nothing automatically bad happens to them that I've seen. It threatens marriage. Oh, come on. You know, divorce could be considered a much bigger threat to marriage. Ah. Uh, but divorce is too prevalent for that, you know. It's, it's so much easier to uh, to hear some people, well, they had a bad marriage and they got divorced. But to have uh, gay people, though, oh, well, there, there are so few of them. <laughs> That's why, you know, 10% or less of the population is gay. So it's easier to ostracize them, huh? Well, just, okay, you people, you can't, you, we'll blame you for marriage or something. Well, a lot of the homophobes are, are themselves kind of nice people well-intentioned, I suppose, but then again, so were a lot of the racists back in the day. You know, you always think of the Ku Klux Klan or something crazy. But they're also just perfectly, you know, everyday people. Their mom making apple pie and hating black people. And it was wrong. Much as it was a tradition in this country. For, <laughs> for centuries, you know, we had the whole hating black people thing. Treating them as inferior. And eventually you go, okay, so it turns out that was a bad idea. And thank goodness that the homosexuals have not been enslaved or anything like that, so I don't want to draw this metaphor too far. Um, but everyone was convinced of one thing and we eventually thought, okay, maybe the other thing makes sense. Maybe we've been a little too restrictive. Maybe it turns out this other group of people, in this case, homosexuals, are people. And we've been wrong, and we don't want to admit that. We'd rather pretend that somehow it, it, it must be bad, this thing that they're doing, that the thing. They're people, like anyone else. And 
this particular activity that they wish to do, marriage and so forth, seems just about as good as regular marriage. I ain't seeing much of a difference, aside from the simple fact of other people freaking out about it. And I wish you would all calm down and consider the reality. Thanks for watching. See you later.